whatever. I mean, I guess to each their own, but like. It, it would be nice just to have some kind of attention. You know, you work hard, you think people are gonna care. Yeah, turns out they don't. It's discouraging. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, actually. It's discouraging. I mean, like, why can't we have the cures? Yeah. Why does it always have to be them? It's always them. Like, our genetic anomalies, illnesses, and biological afflictions are, what, passe? Uh, trivial? It's, it's whatever. whatever. Uh, just so you guys know, scientists have reversed Down syndrome. Um, they did so in newborns with a single injection of an experimental compound. In, uh, in mice. You know, we have problems too, scientists. And if you're thinking, like, great, it starts with mice, then it moves to humans, you would be wrong. There is no cure for Down syndrome, nope. which is caused by an extra chromosome. Yep. And the injected compound has not been proven safe for us. Nope. Because what have we done, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. The team of researchers over at John's We Love Mice Hopkins University of So We're Gonna Cure Them of Everything Medicine used mice that had extra copies of about half the genes found in human chromosome 21. They injected said mice on their cake day with a molecule known as Sonic Hedgehog Pathway Agonist. Yes, that's what it's really called. Why do the mice get to have all the fun? Huh? I love Sonic. I don't know. I don't know. Sonic Hedgehog is known for boosting a gene called SHH or Sonic Hell Yeah, which helps with the brain and body growth. Result, completely normalized growth of the cerebellum into adulthood with a single injection in a mouse. Crazy. Roger Reeves, a mouse fetishist and or researcher, stated, it worked beautifully. Most people with Down syndrome have a cerebellum that's about 60% of the normal size. We were able to completely normalize growth of the cerebellum through adulthood with that single injection. That's a quote version of what you of said what earlier. Joe just said. <laughs> the injection also had other benefits in the areas of memory and learning, which is cool because mice are pretty stupid. Oh, and if you're wondering why this won't be in humans, anytime soon? Well, uh, it would involve growing the human brain, which could have unintended consequences. Like, like cancer and ethics. ethics. Thanks, science. I mean, it's whatever. I mean, we'll just, uh, we'll be over here not benefiting from your work. Yeah. To be honest, Seriously, this, though, is this is pretty amazing. I'm just reading Even a script though there's no link here, but to at the end of the day, I am shed light in awe of the majesty of, of the scientific community. So tell us what you would like to see cured in mice, because apparently that's all that's going to happen. And after you're done with that, please click this annotation that I think is hovering right around here these days. It's going to bring you to all our channels. You can watch all of our videos, and you can grow your brain without science. My name is Joe Beretta. I'm Ellie Morgan. We'll see you later. Bye.